Good morning, YouTube. Uh, welcome back to all my returning subscribers and hello to all my any new viewers. Check out my channel. Hope you guys to subscribe. Today, actually, I'm just going to talk, be talking about the tip or showing you what the typical day of a graduate student here is at Pacific Lutheran University. If you haven't checked out my latest video, I'll link it above. But pretty much, I'm talking about how I decided to come attend Pacific Lutheran University for their graduate program in Master of Science of Marketing Analytics. So I'll definitely definitely check out that video and see where that's going. Uh, so I, like I said, I am part of their school, school of business. I'm in their graduate program for the MSMA, Master of Science Marketing Analytics. And right now, I'm heading to my work. Uh, I have two school jobs. One of them is with Resident Life as their graduate assistant, and I am another graduate assistant for the School of Busa School of Business in their Master of Science, in Master of si Master of Science in Finance. So right now we're heading to my one of my jobs. I usually meet with my other counterpart, who's also a graduate assistant. Uh, they're in a different hall. And I'm just we're running a little late, but pretty much we're heading. We have these meetings weekly, which are Mondays usually. They're about 30 minutes, and it's really first to uh, catch up. But back to uh, graduate school. I decided to go watch that video, tell you everything about it. But yep, um, I work about 20 hours a week, uh, part time, on top of going to school full time. It's a great program. I just pretty much describe it as. I'll show you my outfit, but pretty much I dress as, what's it called, either uh, business or business casual as it's a graduate program. So we're rushing and we're a little late. All right, everyone, so I just got done with my meeting. Um, so this is pretty much what I'm, I wear Oops. for school. I uh, have a dress shirt, dress pants. And I do have dress shoes on. Uh, like I said, I dress up more business casual uh, in majority of the days. Besides Tuesdays, because Tuesday I only have one day of class, so I just really don't see the reasoning behind. So it's going to be short. Uh, I just I just got done with my meeting. Like I said, uh, the graduate assistant. So it's pretty much what a graduate assistant is. I can go into more details about my job position, but pretty much it's just a little below. A community director were like their assistants pretty much there's only another graduate assistant he actually started the position last year and it was created and he was the very first one so pretty much it's just me and him so we're just trying to we usually just meet up and talk about it of uh, to go so that's about 30 minutes and that's weekly on Mondays um, or it can happen any other day so I'm taking you to my office because I have about an hour in there as well and here's my office yep there is not much a computer I don't even use this thing a lot of chairs tables very plain um, they didn't really have a position like area for me they actually were trying to find a little area for where I can have my office wise and this was chosen uh, it's not too bad I guess the uh, job done but usually I spend an hour here my office hours do fluctuate um, it's a little different each time but pretty much I'll be here uh, working until after and then like 10 30 I'll have a one-on-one -on -one with uh, what's a, called a resident assistant with extra duties uh, there's the, or what's equivalent almost to a resident assistant there in the halls. So the hall I'm in charge of is called Kreidler Hall in Pacific Lutheran University. Um, the community director is in charge of learning communities and they actually reorganized and this hall fell under hers. Uh, she had other two other halls. So when she got this position she asked, not one asked, it was either going to be a pay raise or they decided to just hire another position, which was mine, a graduate assistant to help her. And when she did decide that, she was just going to put me in charge of Kreidler Hall. So pretty much making sure anything going through. I have one resident, RAD, or resident assistant with extra duties. They're working with me. And pretty much, yeah, that's pretty much just running the hall, making sure, having meet one-on-ones with students if necessary. But it's been going pretty well. 
uh, at 10.30 I have, uh, I have one one-on-one -on -one and another at 11. So from 10.30 to 11.30 I'll be there. They're about 30 minutes, they're every other week. Um, usually 10.30 I would have a meeting with what is called the resident hall council. They're, they're a council made up of volunteers of residents. But something's going through there, so I don't have the meeting. So I moved the one-on-one -on -one there because as this week is Thanksgiving break, I wouldn't have seen one of my rads unless we rescheduled. Uh, I'm just going to be using acronyms after I <laughs> describe it. But pretty much, yep. And then from 11.30 till about 1, I'll be free. So I might go work at my other job and grab something to eat for lunch. And then from 1 to 1.30 before class, I have another one-on-one. -on -one. So I have three total one-on-ones every other week. But yep, that's pretty much it. I'll be just doing work for about an hour and I'll get back to you. All right, everyone, I just got done with my one-on-one -on -one meetings. I'm heading to actually my other part-time job on campus. Uh, we're going to the building. So this building is called Morgan. Uh, it really has, I think a lot of business, the school business is located here. All four of my classes is actually in this building. So pretty much, ooh! So, sorry, I just saw a friend uh, or part of my cohort. Uh, so, we're here at the school of Busa. Uh, it's in Morgan, but also like classes like I believe computer science majors come here as well. And math, math, math classes are taught here as well. I'm actually just going to go before I start working at my other part time job to see if my professor is available. I just had some questions on one of the assignments. But so my school schedule is Monday and Wednesday are pretty much the same. It's from 1.40 to about 5.20. I have two classes. Tuesdays is a little easier. It's only one class, and that's from 3.40 till 5.20, 5.30, and then Thursdays. Sorry, I got cut off. But yeah, uh, usually Thursdays I have class from 3.40 to about 9.30. Hello. And yeah, that's a long day for me. So here I am at my other job part-time. Who's in here? Oh, it's another girl. Say hi to the vlog. Hi. <laughs> so yeah, we're here at my other part-time job. So we'll uh, work for about another, about, I'll stay here for about an hour and stuff. So I am part of the graduate assistants. Ooh, did I never log in off this? That's awkward. I am part of the graduate assistant program here at, for master's program, graduate school at the school of BUSA for PLU. And we're pretty much here. I'm part of the master of science fi uh, in finance. We're here just to raise, get attendance up to get people to enroll in this program. So we're finding different ways to do that and bring awareness to the program. So I am gonna put about an hour, read the emails to see potential students and candidates who are in here and just look at the social media and the websites so yeah uh, you can watch me work I guess Alright guys, so I'm here at my first class. It's from like 1.40 till about 3.30. I'm, I'm vlogging! Alright, so I just finished my class. Uh, that one went from 5.40 to, uh, no not 5.40, 3.40 to 5.20. Uh, we get about 10 minute break. And now I have a pre-meeting before the resident hall council meeting that indicated you. So how it worked is pretty much when the community director hired my position, they wanted me to pretty much take over and be the advisor to this council meeting. This council is made up of residents of each hall. So there's a council for each hall and they're just volunteers for this event. So this meeting usually would happen before each meeting, about 30 minutes I would meet with the resident assistant with additional duties and the president of the council and we just talk about what's happening in this meeting this one's gonna be a little different and i'll meet with my community director so that should be about 30 minutes and then the meet actual meetings about hour so another hour and a half of stuff and then i should be good after all this so yeah stay tuned 
Hey everyone, I just got done with my meeting. Uh, it lasted a little longer. It went till about 8 o'clock, but that's fine. Uh, it was more like a post meeting after. It does end at 7.30, from 6.30 to 7.30, but we, I talked to my supervisor and Rad. I didn't really talk much about what was going on because there was kind of some sense of information. Uh, and now I just had dinner. I had some leftover food from when I saw my uh, family on Saturday night. So I just ate that. Uh, again, I covered onto the commons, but I didn't really feel like it. Like I don't eat there much. I did buy like a couple meals throughout, like at the little cafe areas that we have across campus, uh, Omen, Oem, like I indicated. And pretty much yes. So this day is pretty similar. My Wednesdays, I have the same class schedules, but I don't really have as many meetings. I have one late meeting, which is from like seven to nine. That's an all staff meeting among all the people attending who are in the learning community so that's about 30 rad slash ras about and then my supervisor me that's every wednesday so kind of late night on wednesdays then tuesdays i only have one class from 3 40 to 5 20 and that one's pretty simple after that i do have a meeting around seven and that's with the other rhc resident hall councils of the another building there's three buildings in the learning community that I have and pretty much we're just there helping them and talking and advising. And Thursdays, my class does, again, it's pretty similar to Tuesday, but I have two. So it starts at 3.40, ends at 5.20, we get 5.20 and then ends, we have about 30 minutes to 40 minutes of break. And then we have class from 6 to 9.30. Thank goodness we don't stay till 9.30 a majority of times. It's usually 9. 915 so that's not too bad um yep and then fridays i don't do much like fridays i don't have classes thank goodness three-day weekend but in this is only for fall semester but i still have to spend on tuesday wednesdays and thursdays i still spend about hour in the office at my job for graduate assistant for the resident life uh so i'm just in my office doing work my other job is a little more flexible they let you work outside the office which is great and actually very helpful because of the flexibility pretty much but yep that's like pretty much what a graduate student like the life in the graduate student is about i'll definitely make more videos and maybe less of me actually talking and maybe just do an uh, actual montage of just showing what i'm doing and maybe just speaking in the background but yep i hope you get a little glimpse plu is amazing school to attend and i hope you all enjoy definitely click that subscribe button and uh any other social medias definitely follow me uh, if you want to kotaro prince for uh, my instagram and snapchat and this is getting heavy so i'm about to end it thank you take care and god bless